to connect the laser via LAN port or wirelessly connecting it to the computer the laser machine needs to be first of all connected directly to the router so this this port this this board needs to be connected via an ethernet cable to the router directly to the router modem switch whichever you have in store after doing that you have to go to your Windows computer, type cmd command prompt, and then type ipconfig. You need to read those three values here. Technically, those are only two: the IP address and the default gateway. So the IP address and the default gateway are very important because we need to use them um, as a as a guide. So first of all, let's do the default gateway, is that one, so we need to keep in mind. Then we need to find an available IP address that we can assign to the laser machine. So to do that, we can say ping, we can type ping, and then the IP address. So we need to use the first, let's say in this case there are seven digits, but the first three sections of the IP address, so 192 dot oops 192 168 in this case is a zero in your case can be one or two whichever most of the time is zero and then dot and that is what really relevant to us so for example this computer has 194 let's say a 198 an example a random number between 1 to 255 um, needs to be selected so in this case we select 198 and you press enter oops uh, ping with one n so in this case trying to um, reach the destination and it says that the destination host is unreachable which is a good sign that means that no computer or device is using that particular p address so that p address can be used by the laser machine to assign the ip address to the laser machine we need to press um, ZU, then scroll up or down, whichever you want. You go to ipconfig, press enter. And then in this case, you need to set the IP address to the one that we just selected. In this case, enter, 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 and you just said select 98. Then enter again and go to the gateway. If you remember, the gateway is 192.68.0.254, and this is the gateway we need to use on the machine as well. Once everything is set up, you press enter. Then now we assigned the IP address to make sure that we set it up properly. We ping the machine again. In this case, the reply changes. And it tells you that it's connected we have all successful responses and we can work with it so you need to go in rd works you need to click settings at the bottom of the screen go to modify or add so if you have for example only usb auto you need to add a new device and then your device will assign a new uh, web address in this case i already have it but let's say i delete it so we keep it simple for you so let's say you had a new one so we need to keep it one nine two six eight zero one nine eight yep not one nine eight in this case we test and it says poor test success if there is an error, uh, another error dark possible solutions to it either the USB cable, I'm sorry, the Ethernet cable, it's not connected to a modem or a router, or their router is not connected to a com to the computer that you're trying to using it from, or um, the the IP address that we used has been used by a different device, and therefore the port that this app is trying to access is not available. So you press OK, OK. You have it there so now you need to select this one exit and now on the bottom right you're going to see that the device selected has this IP address 
and now you can start using Audiworks as you normally would.